guys what's up so in this lesson i'll cover question number 1 to 50 you can use the slide mode to go through these questions and i'll be talking about only the questions along with their options and in the next video we'll talk about 51 to 100 questions and then we will talk about their solutions and detailed explanation so instructions are clear you can open the slide mode and you can start answering and once you are done with all the 100 answers i want you to write your uh, like answer in the comment section below and this is the scoring table Question number one, consider the following statements about Lagrange points and select the incorrect statements. Option one, there is only one possible Lagrangian point in solar system between Sun and Earth. Option two, there are five possible Lagrangian points between Earth, Sun, Moon system. Option three, there are only two stable Lagrangian points between Earth, Sun, Moon system. So these are the three statements and you can choose the correct option here. Which of the following statement is not correct about Saga 220? At present, it is the fastest supercomputer in India. It is built by Indian Space Research Organization and located at Vikram Sarabhai Space Station Center. System uses as many as 400 NVIDIA Tesla 2070 graphic processing units. And fourth is it has theoretical peak performance of 220 teraflops. Which of the following statement is not correct about geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle? It is a four strap on liquid fuel powered by a gas engine. First stage is liquid stage. Third stage is cryogenic stage, which is powered by indigenously developed C20 engines. And fourth is its payload capacity to low Earth orbit is up to 5000 kgs. Which of the following is our advantage of very small aperture terminal? It can access to remote location, can back up to terrestrial networks. It reduces bit error rate. Which of the following is not correctly matched regarding nuclear reactors in India? Apsara, first atomic reactor in Asia, Zerlina, study of uranium-fueled heavy water lettuce, Purnima, plutonium reactor for neutron investigation and multiplying assembly, and Kamini, first fast breeder reactor. Which of the following is not correctly matched? Sagrika, nuclear-capable submarine, Dhanush, naval variant of Prithvi, Helena, modified Nag missile, Trishul, surface-to-surface -surface missile. Seventh, which of the following are incorrectly matched? Bioremediation. So basically there are definition of bioremediation, biomagnification, bioaccumulation and condon. So you can choose the correct option accordingly. Uh, select the correct match pair, golden rice, uh, super rice and sweet corn along with their peculiarities and you can choose the correct option. Which of the following are correctly matched relating to types of stem cell? Totipotent precursor cells, embryonic cells, pluripotent cell, umbilical cord, oligopotent cell, bone marrow cells, and induced pluripotent cells, dedifferentiated somatic cells. Please choose the correct option. Which of the following is are not correct? 4G independent of circuit switch telephony, 2G enhanced data for global evolution, 2.75G general packet radio service. Choose the correct option from here. Uh, which of the following statement is not correct about sickle cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia is reduced count of leukocytes, defect lies in beta protein of hemoglobin, glutamic acid is replaced by valine, it is a genetic disease. Which of the following is incorrect? Uh, question number 12, how many times red blood cells pass through heart traveling from hepatic artery to aorta? A, B, C, D, choose it carefully. Which of the following is not first generation biofuel, sugar, sorghum, jetropha, circus, sugar cane and cassava? Find the incorrectly matched boson pair, gravity, graviton, electromagnetic, W and Z boson, strong force, gluon. Please choose the correct option. Which of the following is not correct about electrophoresis, DNA profiling, identical twin have 100% match, 50% match within sibling, 75% match within parents, less than 50% match, probability of parent-child relation possible. Please choose the correct option. Uh, consider the following statement, evaporation, precipitation, fresh water flow from rivers, warm and cold ocean currents. Which of the following factors affect salinity of ocean? Uh, which of the following landforms are made by highland glaciation, Roche Mount, Mountain, uh, Hanging Valley, U-shaped glacial trough, and crag and tail? Consider the following statements regarding Deccan Plateau. It is an in, in igneous province located on Deccan Trap. It is located within two mountain ranges, Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. It is separated from Gangetic Plain by Satpura and Vidya ranges. Choose the correct option. Uh, consider the following statements regarding Western Ghats. They are parallel to the monsoons coming from the Bay of Bengal. They are continuous. They are source of many large rivers which flow in the peninsular India. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Arrange the passes from east to west, Yongyap, Tonga, Dipu and Bumla. So please uh, arrange them. Question number 21, which of the following statements are true regarding Himalayan river system? These rivers have large basins and catchment areas. They form big deltas at their mouths. They are perennial in nature. They flow in one of the oldest plateaus of the world. These are the, op uh, you can choose the correct option. Which of the following statements are true regarding CADP, Command Area Development Program? It is a centrally sponsored scheme. It was launched inside 1975. It aims at community development. Development of groundwater to supplement surface water is one of its components. Which of the following pair is incorrect regarding sources of peninsular river? Godavari, Trimbak, Plateau, Narmada, Satpura Range, Mahanadi, Dandakaranya, none of the above. 
Consider the following statements regarding anticyclones. In this, the wind moves into a low pressure area. In this, the wind direction is clockwise in southern hemisphere and anticlockwise in northern hemisphere. Please choose the correct options. Consider the following conditions regarding sugarcane cultivation in India. It belongs to bamboo family of plants and is indigenous to India. It provides raw material for manufacturing alcohol. It requires hot and humid climate for growth. Please choose the correct options. Which of the following methods are used for soil conservation to stop the declining fertility of the soil? Windbreak, salinity management, strip cultivation, shifting cultivation and contour pluffing. You can use the choose the option. Residual mountains are evolved by denudation. Residual mountains are the youngest mountains on our surface. Mountain uh, Mondad Dock of USA is an example of residual mountain. Which of the following are correct? Which of the following statements are correct regarding middle source of river? In this, lateral corrosion is replaced by vertical corrosion. Meanders are formed in this stage. The valley is widened due to some deposition. Choose the correct option. Consider the following statements regarding coral reefs. They are shell forming creatures. They have ability to secrete calcium carbonate within their tiny shells. The maximum water temperature for their growth is 20 degrees Celsius. Please choose the correct option. Which of the following are reasons for the less fish production in India? Because of tropical climate, fish cannot be preserved for a longer time. India lacks uh, good fishing grounds. Marine fishing in India is a seasonal phenomena. Question number 31. Which of the following bodies are constitutional bodies? Election Commission, UPSC, NHRC and CBI. Uh, question number 32. Which of the following statements are correct regarding Government of India Act of 1935? It provided for adoption of diarchy at the center. It abolished diarchy in the provinces. It ended the system of double government and abolished the Board of Control and Court of Directors. Reserve Bank of India was established through it. Question number 33. Which of the following pair is incorrect regarding First Cabinet of India? Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Food and Agriculture, Dr. John Mathai, Industries and Supplies, Rajkumari Amrit Kaur, Health, none of the above. Question number 34. Which of the following are salient features of the constitution? Lengthiest written constitution, federal system with unitary bias, presidential system of government, a secular state. Please choose the correct options. Consider the following statements regarding UPSC. The chairman of UPSC is appointed by President of India, while its members are elected by itself. Members of the commission can hold office for a term of five years. The conditions of service of the chairman or a member are determined by the parliament. Question number 36. Which of the following statements are true regarding unitary government? No division of powers, independent judiciary, supremacy of constitution, unicameral legislature. Choose the correct option. Question number 37. Speaker is the chairman of which of the following parliamentary committee? Business Advisory Committee, Committee of Public Undertakings, Committee of Privileges, Library Committee. Question number 38. Which of the following veto power is not enjoyed by President of India? Absolute veto, suspensive veto, qualified veto, pocket veto. Question number 39. Which of the following statement is incorrect? President of India constitutes a finance commission after every five years to review the financial position of panchayas and municipalities. Money bills can be introduced in state legislature only with the prior recommendation of governor. The office of governor of a state is not an employment under central government. None of the above. Consider the following statements regarding Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha. His date of election is fixed by Prime Minister of India. He is elected by Lok Sabha itself from amongst its members. He is subordinate to Speaker. Which of the following is correct? Uh, which of the following departments are under Ministry of Home Affairs, Internal Security, Jammu and Kashmir Affairs, Official Language, Administrative Reforms and Public Grievance, and Border Management? Please choose the correct options. Which of the following are true regarding 97th Constitutional Amendment Act of 2011? It made the right to form cooperative societies a fundamental right. It added a new Part 9A in the Constitution. It included a new DPSP. Choose the correct option. Which of the following features are borrowed from Government of India Act of 1935? Parliamentary privileges and bicameralism, federal scheme, judiciary, cabinet system. Choose the correct option. Consider the following statements related to financial emergency. It continues for six months once approved by both the Houses of Parliament. The resolution approving the proclamation of financial emergency must be approved by a special majority by either House of the Parliament. Which of the following statements is correct? Which of the following offices, forms of oath or affirmation falls under third schedule of Indian Constitution? Attorney General of India, Comptroller or Auditor General of India, Judges of the Supreme Court, the candidates for election to the Parliament, the Judges of the High Courts. According to IUC and Red Data Book, which of the following statements are incorrect? When a taxon does not qualify for critically endangered, endangered, vulnerable, near threatened, then it is categorized as LC. A taxon is crucially endangered if its population is reducing over 90% for the last 10 years or the current number of members is less than 50. Choose the correct option. 47. Biosphere reserve across the world are designed in such a way that they are zoned into core buffer transition community areas. And United Nations Environment Program carries out the process of recognizing and designating biosphere reserve in MAP program. Question number 48. Uh, choose the correct option in relation to ozone depletion. The presence of polar stratospheric clouds helps in compensation of ozone depletion. CFCs in the atmosphere can be eliminated and every spring a hole as big as the USA develops over Arctic Circle. 49 is this. You can just like see the math the following. 
एंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू ओशन केमिस्ट्री सो प्लीज राइट योर स्कोर आफ्टर वॉचिंग द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस हैव एन ऑसम डे गाइज वॉट्स आप सो दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ यू पी एस सी सी एस सी प्रिलियम टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन मॉक एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग फिफ्टी वन टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू राइट द आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो ऑफ योर एंटायर हंड्रेड एंड वॉट इज द स्कोर सीरीज इफ यू गैट लेट दैन फिफ्टी सो यू रियली नीड टू वर्क हार्ड फिफ्टी टू एटी ओके नीड टू ग्राइंड मोर एटी वन टू वन हंड्रेड टेन गोइंग गोड ऑलमोस्ट देयर एंड वन हंड्रेड इलेवन और मोर इट मीन्स यू हैव ऑलमोस्ट शॉर्ट शॉर्ट चांस ऑफ सेलेक्शन प्लीज ओपन द स्लाइड मोड How do you do that? By clicking the button which is next to the full screen, and then you can see all the slides and solve these questions. And please write your uh, like score in the comments below. Question number fifty-one. So rather than like uh, reciting the question and options, I'll tell you what it is talking about. So it is basically talking about black carbon. So first option deals with soot, and second option deals with like it absorbs heat in the atmosphere and reduces albedo. Now albedo and all all this will be discussed later. So you have to choose the correct option. Question number fifty-two. It talks about Indian Rhino Vision 2020, and these are the like uh, options which are given. One horned rhinos will be trimmed off their horns before they are left in wildlife sanctuary. Program is a partnership between GOI, GO Assam, and International Rhino Foundation. Aim is to attain a population of 3,000 wild horn by 2020. All of the above. Question number 53 it talks about bioaccumulation, biomagnification. So it talks about the definitions, and it asks you to opt for the incorrect option. Question number fifty-four: Ocean thermal energy cogeneration, photovoltaic electricity. So it talks about the definition. So it talks about which of the following definition is correct. So you can choose your options accordingly. Question number fifty-five: You just have to match Indian tiger, uh, like basically the name of the organism which can be plant or animal, vis-a-vis -vis their scientific name. So this is present in NCERT. That is why it has been taken from there. Question number fifty-six: Project Tiger was launched in ninety-five to protect tigers from extinction. And Project Tiger is administered by National Tiger Conservation Authority. Which of the following are incorrect? So please focus on the word incorrect. And it talks about National Lake Conservation Plan. So various scheme which ministry appoints it. What is its uh, mandate? Etc. Has been given. So you have to choose the option. Question number fifty-eight. It talks about incorrect here. So Animal Welfare Board of India is established in nineteen sixty-two. It operates under Ministry of Environment and Forest in New Delhi. So you have to choose the correct option. 59 is extinction of species in, is a natural process that happens without human intervention which of the following causes artificial extinction so you can choose the option accordingly uh, consider the following statements about photochemical smog so it's a term used to describe air pollution and it is one of the primary components of smog is ozone so you have to choose your option and they are asking for the incorrect one which of the following is incorrectly paired so rio kyoto montreal uh, according to the year and place and what it talks about and fixed capital and talks about the definition which of the components are the components of fixed capital so economy mcqs are prepared by ayush sanghi so you can see the options here and uh, it talks about economic activities economic gain so what are the examples of economic activity so just see which of the following constitutes economic activity and choose the options accordingly frictional unemployment it just talks about the definition of frictional unemployment so pick the right one Question number sixty-five. It talks about minimum support prices. Which of the following is correct? So you have to choose the options. Question number sixty-six. Uh, it talks about CBDT, and which of the following is correct? So you can choose the option. Question number sixty-seven. It talks about Mandrega, that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural uh, Employment Guarantee Act, and uh, so it talks about here which are the options here. So you can choose. Question number sixty-eight talks about food security and the issues like related with food corporation of India, Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices. So you can go through the option and choose the correct option. Uh, question number sixty-nine it talks about National Food Security Act of two thousand thirteen and these are the options. So you have to choose the correct options accordingly. Question number seventy uh, the word demonetization is set as in news. So what is exactly meant by monetization? So you have to choose the correct option. Question number seventy-one. it is asking about the definition of gdp uh, question number 72 it's a basic question rupee one note is signed by which of the following question number 73 talks about the exact definition of infant mortality rate uh, question number 74 it talks about the indian economy during the british rule so these are the three options so you have to choose which of the following option is correct question number 75 it talks about uh, like service territory sector in india tertiary sector in india so you have to choose which of the following statement is correct regarding the service sector in india and you can choose the options accordingly 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स निमोनी एंड डायरिया प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट हु पब्लिशेज इट सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट एजेंसी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन चेरी ब्लॉसम फेस्टिवल वॉज फर्स्ट टाइम सेलिब्रेटेड इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया आइडेंटिफाई द स्टेट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी एट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया बॉर्डर विद भूटान सो आइडेंटिफाई द स्टेट्स एंड चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग पेंटेड स्टोर्स दट इज वेडिंग बर्ड्स सो विच ऑफ द विच एवर द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट सो यू हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन स्टेटमेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर कंसिडर द फर्स्ट रिटर्न सोर्सेज ऑफ इंडियन हिस्ट्री सो यू कैन सी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी वन इट टॉक्स अबाउट साइट्स ऑफ पीली लिथिक एज दट इज भीम बेट का हड़प्पा बुरजा होम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एक्चुअली देयर सो यू कैन चूज द ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी टू टॉक्स अबाउट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ ट्राई रत्ना इज एसोसिएटेड विद बुद्धिज्म क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी थ्री टॉक्स अबाउट द डेली सल्तनत बेसिकली देर फाइव डायनेस्टी खलजी इसलिए तो अलग लोधी एंड सैयद सो यू हैव टू अरेंज दैम इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर अन्ना आचार्य इज वेरी फेमस इंडियन म्यूजिशियन ओके सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच डायनेस्टी डज यू बिलोंग टू लाइक हेड्स ऑफ वेरी डिपार्टमेंट इन मुगल एम्पायर सो यू हैव टू चूज दी ऑप्शन केयरफुली क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सिक्स इज टॉक्स अबाउट द रिलीजन सिख एंड सिखिज्म सो द वेरियस ऑप्शन एंड स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन हेयर यू हैव टू चूज दी ऑप्शन केयरफुली क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सेवन इट टॉक्स अबाउट पीतरा दूरा वॉट इज पीतरा दूरा सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू नो दी करेक्ट आंसर एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी एट इट टॉक्स अबाउट अरेंजिंग द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर यूरोपियन पावर्स सो वेन डेट दे आर आई विन इंडिया सो यू हैव टू अरेंज दैम इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी नाइन इट टॉक्स अबाउट बैटल ऑफ बक्सर एंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो यू हैव टू चूज दी स्टेटमेंट केयरफुली क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वॉज नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद राजा राम मोहन रॉय सो यू हैव टू अगेन चूज द स्टेटमेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वॉज नॉट एसोसिएटेड सो नॉट इज की वर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग आई एन सी दट इज इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस सेशन इज करेक्ट सो यू कैन चूज दी स्टेटमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी टू सॉरी फॉर द स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक हेयर इट्स नाइनटी टू सो ऊर्जा गंगा स्कीम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द ऊर्जा गंगा स्कीम सो यू कैन चूज दी ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी थ्री लाइक ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स इंडिया वॉज रैंक नाइनटी सेवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट फॉर जी एच आई सो यू कैन चूज दी ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी फोर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन आर नॉट करेक्ट रिलेटेड टू कृष्णा रिवर सो अगेन यू कैन चूज दी ऑप्शन केयरफुली रिगार्डिंग द कृष्णा रिवर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन आर मैच करेक्टली फॉर द मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज इन विच इंडिया पार्टिसिपेट्स सूर्य किरण मित्र शक्ति संप्रीति क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग इंडियन करेंसी सो यू कैन सी द ऑप्शन एंड चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन इज इन करेक्ट सो इट टॉक्स अबाउट मॉन्ट्रल प्रोटोकॉल एच एफ सी बेसिकली क्लाइमेट चेंज सो यू कैन चूज द ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी एट इट टॉक्स अबाउट सफर दट इज सिस्टम ऑफ एयर क्वालिटी एंड वेदर फोरकास्टिंग एंड रिसर्च विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट यू कैन चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी नाइन वेनेजुला शेयर इज बॉर्डर विद विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज सो यू कैन चूज द ऑप्शन एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस टेस्ट इज लक्ष्मी इज अ बैंकिंग रोबोट विच इज लॉन्ड बाई विच बैंक सो यू कैन सी द ऑप्शन हेयर सो थैंक यू आर वॉचिंग दिस लेसन आई होप यू हैव गॉट लाइक रियली गुड स्कोर एंड वी विल डिस्कस द एक्सप्लेनेशन टू दीज क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन एंड यू कैन राइट द स्कोर बिलो इन द कॉमेंट्स थैंक यू आईज वॉट्स अप सो आई होप यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड ऑल दी हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन एंड हेयर वी आर हेयर टू ब्रिंग यू द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड द सोल्यूशन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दैम क्विकली यू कैन गो थ्रू द स्लाइड मोड और यू कैन लिसन टू मी एंड लाइक अंडरस्टैंड एंड गेट द एक्सप्लेनेशन सो वंस यू आर डन वॉचिंग ऑल दीज सिक्स वीडियोज वेर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द एम सी क्यूज यू कैन सी योर स्कोर फ्रॉम हेयर एंड प्लीज राइट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो हाउ मच इज योर फाइनल स्कोर कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट लैग रेंज पॉइंट एंड सेलेक्ट द इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो देर इज ओनली वन पॉसिबल लैगरेरियन पॉइंट इन सोलर सिस्टम बिटवीन सन एंड अर्थ देर आर फाइव पॉसिबल लैग रेंजियन पॉइंट्स बिटवीन अर्थ सन एंड मून सिस्टम एंड देर आर ओनली टू स्टेबल लैग रेंजियन पॉइंट्स बिटवीन अर्थ सन एंड मून सिस्टम सो आंसर हेयर इज बी ऑफ द फाइव लैग रेंज पॉइंट्स थ्री आर अनस्टेबल एंड टू आर स्टेबल द अनस्टेबल लैग रेंज पॉइंट्स आर एल वन एल टू एल थ्री द लाई अलॉन्ग द लाइन कनेक्टिंग द टू लार्ज मासज एंड द स्टेबल लैग रेंज पॉइंट्स लेबल डेल फोर एंड एल फाइव दे फॉर्म द
बिकॉज क्रे एक्स सी फोर्टी इज द फास्टेस्ट सुपर कंप्यूटर इन इंडिया सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट बिकॉज इट वॉज द फास्टेस्ट सुपर कंप्यूटर नॉट एट प्रजेंट बिकॉज इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस सुपर कंप्यूटर एजुकेशन रिसर्च सेंटर दैट इज एस सी आर सी दे मेड क्रे एक्स सी फोर्टी पेटा फ्लॉप सुपर कंप्यूटर विच इज एट प्रजेंट फास्टेस्ट सुपर कंप्यूटर इन इंडिया क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट अबाउट जी एस एल वी सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट सो आंसर हेयर इज बी इट इज इट्स फर्स्ट स्टेज इज लिक्विड बिकॉज द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ जी एस एल वी इज इग्नाइटेड फोर सेकेंड्स आफ्टर द इग्निशन ऑफ द फोर स्ट्रैप ऑन आफ्टर इंश्योरिंग देयर फुल फंक्शनैलिटीज सो दिस बी इज रॉन्ग बट द फर्स्ट सेकेंड फर्स्ट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ आर एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट सो आंसर इज बी सो द सॉलिड कोर ऑफ द फर्स्ट स्टेज सो एज यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट स्टेज इज अ सॉलिड Why this is required? This is required in order to extract maximum thrust out of the initial stages. Since the first stage is not the liquid core, rather it is solid. So that is why the answer is B. Question number four: Which of the following is are the advantage of very small aperture terminal in India? So the advantages here are A, that is one and two, because it has high initial cost, but it has a very frequent bit error rate. Yes, it can access remote location. Yes, it can be back up to terrestrial networks, but it does not it reduces bit error rate that is wrong these are the limitations high initial cost frequent bit error rate rain attenuation and trained man power requirement is there question number 5 which of the following is not correctly matched regarding nuclear reactors in india so all all of these are absolutely correctly matched so kalpakam mini kamini is the first fast builder reactor if you just don't know about kamini so that is kalpakam mini that is kamini and all these statements are correctly matched so answer is d none of the above question number 6 which of the following pair is not correctly matched sagrika dhanush helena trishul so answer here is d fourth pair is incorrect because trishul is surface to air missile and not surface to surface missile a b and c are 100% correct so trishul is not uh, surface to surface missile it is surface to air missile so question number 7 which of the following is or are incorrectly matched bioremediation biomagnification bioaccumulation and condon so answer here is b 2 and 3 bioremediation bioremediation uh second statement is incorrect why it is incorrect because see it is asking for incorrectly matched so first statement is correct bioremediation means that fourth statement is also correct but biomagnification is not within the organism it is between one tropic level to the next so that is why it is wrong and third statement is incorrect because bioaccumulation accumulation within a species so these are like interchanged so answer is b 2 and 3 only so that is why so just focus on incorrect word question number 8 select the correctly matched pair or pairs golden rice beta carotene containing gene super rice iron and zinc rich and sweet corn added amylase gene so beta carotene means vitamin which vitamin is this please mention in the comments below which vitamin is this so all of these are correctly matched so if they are they ask you in science and tech which of the following is doing good so you can use these terms and you can use these match the following so answer is d 1 2 3 only so all the pairs are correct question number 9 which of the following is are correctly matched relating to types of stem cells so here uh, the answer is totipotent precursor cell embryonic cell yes pluripotent cell umbilical cord yes oligopotent cell bone marrow cells this is also correctly matched and induced pluripotent stem cells de differentiated somatic cells all these are correctly matched it is basic stem cell theory so if you need know them you know them otherwise you don't know them so answer is 1 2 3 4 d now which of the following pair is or are not correct 4g 2g and 2.75g so answer is 2 and 3 because they are not correctly matched because 2.75g is edge and 2g is 2.5g is gprs so this is 2.5g and this is 2.75g 4g is absolutely correct so second pair is incorrect because 2.75g is edge and third pair is incorrect because 2.5g is gprs solution is a question number 11 which of the following statement is not correct about sickle cell anemia so sickle cell anemia it is reduced count of leukocyte this is absolutely wrong it is it has to do with rbc rbc hemoglobin is an rbc so first statement is incorrect because it's rbc related genetic disease okay this is absolutely correct defect lies in beta protein of hemoglobin glutamic acid is replaced by valine in sickle cell anemia it is genetic disease so b c d are correct a is wrong so answer is a so first statement is incorrect because it's rbc related genetic disease in which glutamic acid is replaced by valine amino acid and rbc takes shape of sickles so with usual rbc life span is 120 days here it is only 10 days so that is why it is uh, wrong 
सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स रेड ब्लड सेल्स पास थ्रू हार्ट ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम हेपेटिक आर्टरी टू आटा सो फॉर ऑल दी आर्टरीज एंड वेन्स एक्सेप्ट पलमोनरी आर्टरी एंड एक्सेप्ट लाइक रीनल आर्टरीज यूजली सो दीज आर समाइम्स दे मैट बी एक्सेप्शन बट हेपेटिक आर्टरीज प्लेनिक आर्टरी ऑल दीज इट्स ऑलवेज आंसर इज टू बिकॉज देर इज डबल सर्कुलेशन सो फर्स्ट इट विल गो फ्रॉम हेपेटिक आर्टरी देन इट विल गो थ्रू लिवर एंड देन द वेन्स विल कनेक्ट इट वेन्स विल गो टू हार्ट हार्ट विल गो टू लंग लंग विल गो टू हार्ट एंड अगेन इट गो इन टू ऑटा टू हेपेटिक आर्टरी सो दिस इज बेसिक सर्कुलेशन इट इज कॉल्ड एज डबल सर्कुलेशन इट इज इन ह्यूमन बींग्स सो आंसर इज टू टाइम्स सो अगेन आई विल एक्सप्लेन हेपेटिक आर्टरी देन इट विल गो टू लिवर देन इट विल गो टू हेपेटिक वेन देन फ्रॉम वेना केवा इट विल गो टू हार्ट फ्रॉम हार्ट from pulmonary artery it will go to lung from lung from pulmonary veins it will go to heart and from heart finally it will go to aorta and aorta se puri body mein so this is called double circulation question number 13 in which of the following is not first generation biofuel now you need to know what is a first generation biofuel first generation biofuel is from edible plants for example sugar sorghum is edible sugar cane is edible cassava is edible but jatropha carcass is second generation because it is non edible biofuel so jatropha carcass is biodiesel okay so it is from non edible biofuel so answer is b uh, question number 14 find the incorrectly matched boson pair so answer here is c uh, that is two only gravity is graviton 100% correct electromagnetic is not w and z boson electromagnetic bosons are photons w and z bosons are weak force bosons and strong force is gluon so first is correct third is correct so answer is c two only इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक बोजोन्स आर फोटॉन्स एंड डब्ल्यू एंड जेड बोजोन्स आर वीक फोर्स बोजोन्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोफोरेस डी एन ए प्रोफाइलिंग आइडेंटिकल टू इंस हंड्रेड परसेंट मैच फिफ्टी परसेंट मैच इन सिबलिंग सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट मैच इन पेरेंट्स सो आंसर हेयर इज सी दैट इज टू एंड थ्री दे आर नॉट इन करेक्टली मैच ये आइडेंटिकल टू इनवेल हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट मैच ये लेस दैन फिफ्टी परसेंट इन प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ पेरेंट चाइल्ड रिलेशन पॉसिबल बट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड आर रॉन्ग वाई because uh option 4th is correct because human chimera possibility ghost twin is called uh 3/4 th match is there in sibling and 50% man in generally parents so this is how it is it is actually reversed so answer is c here so let's go to question number 16 so consider the following statements evaporation precipitation fresh water flow from rivers warm and cold ocean currents which of the following factors affect salinity of ocean so answer here is d all of these factors they are typical uh, they are responsible for change in ocean salinity so ocean salinity is a measure of how much salt is dissolved in water and the average salinity of sea water is approximately 33 or 35 grams of dissolved water per kilogram of sea water okay so last question for this lesson is which of the following landforms are made by highland glaciations answer here is a that is 1 2 3 crag and tail are uh, it is a mass of hard rock and uh, Like it is present in Edinburgh, Scotland. So one and one, two, three are correct. So Ross Mount Mot uh, Morton is a, it is a resistant residual rock hummock, and they are found in both highland and lowland glaciated regions. While crag and tail, they are a mass of hard rock with a precipitous slope on upstream roll, which protects the softer leeward slope from being completely worn down by oncoming ice. So we will continue our discussion in next lesson from eighteen to thirty-four questions. Thank you for watching this. I hope you are getting great score. Have an awesome day. Hello and welcome to an academy. This is Nitin Kunaiparamvil, and I'll be doing all the solution and explanation from the questions 18 to 34. Without any further delay, let's get into the first question. Uh, so basically, the question number 18 talks about certain characteristics of Deccan Plateau. Now there are three statements which is given. The first one is it is an igneous province located on Deccan Trap. Quite not sure, so let's keep it there. It is located between two mountain ranges. that is the eastern ghats and western ghats that is exactly right right and now it's also separated from gangetic doab uh, by satpuras and vindhyas which is also right so 2 and 3 are right that means the option is going to be b b right so you can definitely say this is wrong why because deccan trap is located in deccan plateau and not the other way around right if you understand the geological history of india you'll understand better of it now let's consider a few more statements with respect to western ghats now they run parallel Uh, to the monsoons coming from bay of bengal which is very wrong right you can think about karnataka and kerala and uh, maharashtra the the strip is there and uh, when the southwest monsoons are coming it is going to be perpendicular to it that's why we are getting monsoons there right so this statement is wrong they are continuous yes they are continuous except for that few gaps are there right one is palghat gap i am from palghat <laughs> yeah anyways uh, so the second uh, the third statement is that the sources of many large rivers which are flowing in peninsula river which is also true right Now, if you see, the answer should be B because Western Ghats are perpendicular to the 
south west monsoon so as i explained earlier now let's take the, uh, the 20th question so this is a very factual question so what i want to do is like you to do is this plus and then please take your atlas and then find where are these passes there's a yong gap pass there's a tunga pass and a dipu pass and bamla pass the answer here would be a because you know this dipu pass is the one which is there uh, between the borders of india china and myanmar and also you have this bumla pass which is going to be there in arunachal pradesh itself but it is there in indo china border and then this tungla pass and uh, yong gap pass is there in arunachal pradesh very factual questions please do look into it and then uh, you have this himalayan river systems let's take one by one these rivers have a large basin and catchment area very true right in india itself if you see it's ganges and uh, uh, the yamuna which have like very big flood plains and you know large basins and catchment area so this is true and also when you talk about the they form big deltas at their mouth which is also true if the world's largest delta is in sundarbans which is basically uh, ganges and brahmaputra coming together right so effectively this is also true and they're all perennial in nature have you ever seen you know water drying up in ganges no no right the southern friends might be a bit confused but then yeah we can see kaveri and you know godavari and all going a bit dry but then it never happens with ganges or uh, yamuna so that this statement is also All right, but if you see this one, the flow is uh, it flows in one of the oldest plateaus of the world. That is very wrong. Why? Because the la the oldest plateaus in the world is our uh, Deccan plateau. Oh, so it is the peninsular rivers which flows through it. So the answer would be one, two, and three. That means it's option number A. Right. And now well, let's talk about a very another factual question with respect to the command area development. It is sponsored centrally sponsored scheme. Very correct. It aims at community development. No, that is not right. And the third one is with respect to development of groundwater to supplement the uh, surface water is one of the common, which is also true. So basically, second one is wrong because this basically aims at uh, uh, you know uh, bridging this gap between uh, created potential and then you know, utilized in selected major and medium. irrigation projects in the country by optimizing the agriculture production on the irrigation land so basically second one is wrong so solution would be c now let's see uh, uh, we are going to discuss you know the rivers and where from their originating so basically they are all the peninsula river godavari it is also coming from triambak uh, plateau which is true but then this narmada is not coming from satpura ranges if you have changed if seen this you know two rivers which is going to flow in the opposite direction if you see that's only you know our uh, tapi and narmada so narmada becomes narmada and tapi becomes very important so you can see that it's from amarkantak plateau can you please tell me what sort of a uh, uh, pattern does it form hmm? so because it's very interesting i think it's a radial pattern please do uh, look into it and uh, comment in the section below so the uh, solution is b because uh, uh amar it uh, narmada originates from amarkantak uh, which is in the maikal ranges so please take a map and then find where these are originating from right because it becomes very important this time kaveri especially right okay now let's talk about anti cyclones these are some uh, characteristics this is a basic definition of anti cyclones so it's a, uh, in this the wind moves into a low pressure area no that's not right and also if you see the other one it is uh, this this statement is also wrong because in you know, a direction is not clockwise in the southern hemisphere actually these both statements are wrong so the explanation is that you know anti cyclone is basically opposite to cyclone so once you know cyclone then all you have to do is you know reverse it so and that's it here and now let's talk about the sugar cultivation in india uh, it belongs to you know bamboo family of uh, uh, plants and indigenous type uh, to india so which is actually right and then you know it provides raw material for manufacturing alcohol so which is also right if you see um, in past 6 months i think the uh, lowest um, price for sugar is recorded in this past uh, in this recent times that's basically because you know there are a lot of problem procurement and enough fair and remunerative prices and a lot of issues are there but then one issue what the government is trying people to do is that you know use all this extra sugar cane for alcohol production so that's also possible it grows in hot and humid area please think where all this uh, this uh, sugar cane production is happening in our country if you see one is like you know in in our uh, western up side and then there is uh, maharashtra ka side and also then you have uh, uh, here in tamil nadu also there was one discussion about how tamil nadu uh, sugar has a higher sugar content right as in like you know there's more sucrose content there uh, it's basically because of soil patterns and also basically the answer would be d that is all the statements are correct right and you can read about this thing here you know and it's a very labor intensive so basically you can also talk about the mills and all right uh, especially maharashtra is very interesting because maharashtra is one place where you don't have water but then this water intensive crop is being cultivated there so here comes the importance of you know your uh, precision irrigation and you know cultivation according to the conditions there 
Now let's talk about another one it's with respect to the soil conservation uh, and uh, with respect to declining fertility of soil. You've seen from Punjab, Haryana and all, right? All of this is happening. And that's why we have something called the evergreen revolution. All of this is happening, right? So basically now the soil conservation, all the options are talking about is like wind breaks and then salinity management, strip cultivation, shifting cultivation, contour plowing. So all of this is there. It's very much there. I think uh, Roman also had spoken about this in his high yield series when he spoke about soil also. Please go and uh, watch it also if you need it. It's a, because one question is definitely going to come from uh, the soil section, even for main inputs, it's very important, especially the salinity aspect of it. How can you prevent it? All of this becomes very important, right? So the answer basically here would be all, all of them, right? Because and you can, you, know, you can see the other methods of how you can uh, do all this thing. And now uh, with respect to this question, you know, residual mountains are evolved from denudation. Okay, that's right. And then, you know, residual mountains are the youngest mountains on Earth's surface. That's wrong because you see Himalaya is the uh, youngest mountain on Earth's surface. That's why it's very tall, right? There's, the erosional activities are not happening much, right? So that's why the fold mountains are the youngest one. Uh, so you can talk about the plate tectonics and how these are formed. All of this are very interesting. And, you know, so you, you, you really don't know the third point because it sounds very odd, right? Mountain, a monad knock. Of USA, so you know that one and two are, uh, 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 you know, this uh, second one is wrong. So this goes away, this goes away, and you know, then you're left with this two. So now basically, you should know this factual question only. Then will you be able to answer this thing because B and C is there. So actually, it is um, both of them, right? The second statement, except for the second statement, the rest everything is right. Um, if you talk about Aravalis also, Aravalis also is a, a old fall mountain. Can you tell me if any other old fall mountains? Yeah, please uh, find it out and let me know and think i think appalachian is also old fond mountain okay now let's come to the 28th question which is talking about the middle coast so this is beautifully given in go cheng liang please, please find it out and then you know what is happening this lateral co uh, um, uh, corrosion is replaced by vertical corrosion that's actually wrong if you find it out you'll understand it the me meanders are formed in this case yes and then you know uh, the valley is widened due to some kind of a deposition that's there you know you know about the v type valley and w type valley and you know initial stage how you have a lot of potential energy and how everything will be there so basically the answer would be b the first statement is wrong because vertical corrosion is replaced by lateral corrosion on the other way around right and the second stage they form v shaped valleys and you know, it is replaced by u shaped valleys because of the deposition and all now let's talk about coral reef now coral reef becomes very important right you know how everything has been uh, the great barrier reef has been diminished so they are basically shell forming creatures yes they have uh, se they secrete ca uh, calcium carbonate which is also right then also the maximum temperature of 20 degrees that is wrong because the minimum temperature that's why you know uh, answer should be one and two that's a uh, statement a now 30th question with respect to you know reasons for uh, less fish production yes you know tropical condition means you know you can't be producing it much india doesn't have much of uh, you know all this bays and stuff and marine fishing is also seasonal filming so it's all of them are right so answer should be d now let's talk about the constitutional bodies this is a basic fact questions so, uh, election, election commission is there and uh, uh, UPS is also there so basically it's one and two so answer is d Right. Please note everything in there in the uh, Lakshmi Kant and also with respect to 32. If you see uh, this thing is coming from you know, Queen's declaration there 1858. So this is wrong. So one, two, four is there. So answer should be C. And now you have, you know, um, which of this is right. So John Mathai, this is there an internet government. So B is wrong. B is the right answer. And then finally, you have this constitution. We have a uh, parliamentary system. So answer should be three is wrong. So one, two and four. That's it. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to Unacademy. This is the continuation of the solution for the uh, prelims mocked by the Unacademy. And uh, so we're going to start with the 35th question onwards. And this is regarding the question on uh, UPSC. So the first statement is wrong. Why? Because uh, the chairman and the members both are appointed by the President of India and not elected. Uh, members of the commission hold office for either a 6 year term or 65 years of age. And the conditions are set by the President of India and not the Parliament. So the answer is... Uh, none of the above so that's what the answer is and uh, you can you know same explanation is given here you can read and this is regarding what are the features of a unitary government and uh, no division of power certainly that's why it makes you know it is unitary it's single power center independent judiciary not necessary there can be a dependent judiciary in a unitary system supremacy constitution also not necessary a constitution could be uh, written or you know not and uh, unicameral legislature not necessary there can be bicameral legislature in a unitary government and uh, so the answer is uh, one only c so these are the other features of the unitary government do read them and uh, this is regarding the uh, 
committees. So, speaker is the chairman of uh, which parliamentary committee? He or she is the chairman of the business advisory committee, which deals with the uh, various uh, businesses and you know programs that are uh, taken up by the house. Uh, so, it has 15 members, including the speaker. So, which of the following uh, veto power is not enjoyed by the president of India? That is uh, qualified veto. So, this is enjoyed by only uh, the American president and Indian president enjoys absolute veto, suspensive veto and pocket veto. I hope you already know the difference between these. Uh, if not, do read about them here or uh, you know also read more from the Lakshmi Kant. So, which of the following is incorrect? Uh, president of India constitute finance commission after 5 years. Yes, but not to review the financial position of panchayat and municipality, but to review the financial position of the state and centre and uh, discuss the allocation of uh, resources from the common pool from uh, you know centre to states. So, the 14th financial commission had you know, uh, recommended 42% allocation of the common pool. So, money bill uh, introduced in state agriculture only with the recommendation of governor. Yes, that is true. So, office of governor is uh, not a state employment, not an employment under the central government. That is true. It's a constitutional position. So, the incorrect is A. So, it is regarding the, uh, though uh, some recommendations regarding uh, panchayats and municipalities can be given, that is not the prime aim for appointing the finance commission by the president. So this is regarding Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha, uh, his date of election is not uh, fixed by the President of India, sorry, Prime Minister of India, it's fixed by the Speaker of Lok Sabha. Uh, he is elected by Lok Sabha from amongst members, yes, true. Subordinate to Speaker, certainly not, because he himself also is a constitutional authority. So the answer is C. So which are the following uh, departments under the uh, Home Ministry? Internal Security, yes. Kashmir Affairs, Jammu Kashmir Affairs, yes. Official Language, yes. Uh, border management, yes. Administrative reforms and public grievance, no. So that makes the answer C. Uh, the other uh, extra uh, not mentioned is Department of States. So this is regarding 97 amendment uh, of 2011 regarding the cooperative societies. So yes, it makes uh, forming uh, cooperative societies a fundamental right. It does not add uh, pa article, uh, sorry, part 9A, but it adds uh, 9B. 9A is added by the 94th amendment uh, regarding the municipalities. It included a new DPSP? Yes, it does. So, do find out what is the uh, new DPSP that is added by that amendment. So, this is regarding the features that have been borrowed from 1935 Government of India Act to the Constitution. So, parliamentary privilege and bicameralism? No. Uh, bicameralism came to India much before, though you know it can also be said to be, have been borrowed from the British uh, system. Uh, also, parliamentary privilege is borrowed from the British system. Federal scheme, yes, uh, it wanted to establish an All India Federation, though it couldn't do that. Uh, judiciary, yes, it established the you know federal court, the Supreme Court in uh, Delhi. Uh, cabinet system, no, cabinet system came to India much before under the Lord Canning and you know uh, the government, uh, the Council of India Act. After that, uh, and it can also be said to have been borrowed from the British system and not from the 1935 Act. So that makes the answer C. Also, do read uh, more about this 1935 Act. You know, it also uh, contributes to this uh, Public Service Commission. Also, is something that is borrowed from this Act, and there are some other administrative details and so on. So, it's a very important Act. Do read more about it. So, this is regarding the financial emergency. There is no uh, upper time limit, so it you know it can continue more than six months. So, first statement is wrong, and uh, the resolution should be uh, approved by you know special majority. Certainly not. Uh, it can be approved by a simple majority so that makes the answer d neither one and two so this is regarding the oath and affirmation that for, for you know it falls under the third schedule of indian constitution so which of the officers have it uh, you know as a part of this third schedule so all of them have except the attorney general of india though is considered part of the executive uh, and also as a constitutional post but uh, his oath is not under the third schedule. Other all have their oaths under third schedule. These are the other uh, you know important constitutional bodies and so on uh, who have their oath uh, under the third schedule. So this is regarding the IUC in red data book. Uh, so so the first statement is wrong. Why? Uh, because it can be endangered, critically endangered, endangered, vulnerable. Uh, least concern, but that can be also extinct or extinct and wild. So we are not sure this first statement is wrong. Uh, this definition for uh, this critically ended that is uh, the taxon has to you know uh, has to reducing over 90% of population in uh, last 10 years. That 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 is uh, true. 
So the answer is uh, one only. So that we are asking for incorrect statement. So this is regarding the uh, <coughs> biosphere reserves and uh, UNEP uh, on that. So this first statement is completely true because uh, sorry. It's wrong. First statement is wrong because this buffer core and transition zones are there. Community areas is not there, and uh, it you know it not always. Uh, so in the buffer and transition area, there are certain rights etc. allowed for the addressing local condition, but core is completely restricted. And this community areas is not part of this. There is no such term under this uh, biosphere reserve. So it's core, buffer, and transition areas. So UNEP uh, carries out process of recognizing uh, biosphere reserves and areas. Uh, as part of this uh, Man and Biosphere Reserve program, that is also wrong. It is the uh, UNESCO Man and Biosphere Reserve program. So, 10 out of 18 uh, biosphere reserves in India are a part of this MAB. So, do read, uh, you know, you should know what are the 18 biosphere reserves and more importantly, uh, which of the uh, 10 in that 18 are part of this MAB. Recently, the Agastyamala uh, Biosphere Reserve was added. So, it's an important question. So this is regarding the ozone depletion. So presence of uh, polar stratospheric clouds helps in uh, compensation of ozone depletion. That is wrong. The second statement also is wrong because you know it cannot be eliminated. Uh, you know unlike other chemicals, they you know they have this uh, <coughs> process of multiplying. Also all this the scavenging process such as photo dissolution, rain out, oxidation, etc. Cannot eliminate CFC. That so that is why it's a uh, very dangerous uh, chemical. And uh, Every spring, a uh, hole as big as uh, USA develops uh, the Arctic Circle uh, and you know in the North Pole you see ozone depletion. Certainly not. It's uh, The ozone hole is primarily found in the uh, Antarctic region and uh, that is and that happens in every spring. So it's not in the Arctic region, it's in the South Pole, Antarctic region. So the answer is none of the above because none of these options are correct. So this is regarding the uh, wetlands. So which of these are correctly matched? So first match is wrong. It's not uh, man-made. It's natural inland wetlands, swamps. Estuary are coastal and uh, coastal and you know they are natural. Uh, Narmada forms an estuary, you know, in its uh, entrance to the sea. The ash ponds are inland uh, man-made uh, wetlands. Lagoons are natural and uh, coastal wetlands. So that makes the answer. 2, 3, 4, uh, that is C. Also do read about, you know, wetlands and uh, so on uh, in more details. Uh, there are different, the bogs, ferns, etc. under there, bogs, fence, etc. there. Do read about those wetlands also. So this is regarding the uh, lowering of ocean pH. Uh, you know, it can happen due to uptake of uh, carbon compounds by the ocean. And what do you term it as? So what is that? Uh, process called it's called ocean acidification so that is the answer b because oceans are huge reservoirs of absorbing co2 all this phytoplankton etc absorb the co2 so that uh, eventually and so that will lead to uh, more and more carbonate uh, ions uh, in the ocean and lead to increase in co2 and it'll uh, you know it'll become more acidic and get uh, less alkaline so this ocean ocean acidification is a a big issue because it affects the ecology and the marine species etc so we'll continue with the other solutions in the next video thank you for watching hello guys so let's cover the solutions for the uh, questions number 51 to 67 and with the focus on their explanations uh, so the first 51 question is uh, the suit is commonly called is a form of solid particulate a pollutant produced from incomplete combustion and it also absorbs heat in the atmosphere and reduces albedo uh, when deposited on snow and ice so black carbon and uh, uh, brown carbon you need to focus on these topics these are really important for exams point of view so all of the both of the statements are correct and is suit is the commonly called uh, is a part of the uh, black carbon and obviously it absorbs heats and reduces the albedo uh, deposited on snow and ice uh, so it's the strongest absorber of sunlight and heat and, uh, and heats the air directly and consists of pure carbon in several link forms and it leads to the melting of snow and ice through deposition on them so the next question is regarding the indian rhino vision 2020 so which of the following is uh, correct 
So the one rhino hind, uh, horn rhino will be trimmed off their horn before they are left in wild uh, life sanctuaries. And this is correct. And the program is a partnership between government of Assam and National Rhino Foundation. This is also correct uh, because a lot of uh, you know rhinos are found in the Kaziranga National Park in Assam. And the aim is to attain a population of 3,000 wild uh, one-horned rhinos in seven of the Assam's protected areas by year 2020. So D, all of the above, all the three statements are correct. Uh, so is a program to protect the one-horned rhino and... Uh, as I told you, they are found in the Kaziranga Park, uh, majority of them, and they are carefully trimmed, the horns are carefully trimmed without damaging their internal organs. So uh, that was done basically to protect them from poachers. Uh, next question is, uh, match the following, uh, bioaccumulation increase in concentration of a pollutant from the environment to the first orga organism is a food chain, and biomagnification is a tendency of the pollutants to concentrate as they move from one trophic level, so need to differentiate between bioaccumulation and biomagnification. So which is incorrect? So both of the statements are actually correct, so none of them are incorrect, so D, neither one or two is the correct option. So not much to explain, those are like standard definition. And the next question is, uh, match the following, ocean thermal energy, energy from waves and also tidal waves, cogeneration producing two or four, uh, more forms of energy from one fuel, and photovoltaic electricity, usage of photovoltaic, uh, photovoltaic cells uh, that absorb the direct sunlight to generate electricity. So ocean thermal energy, uh, the tidal uh, tides do not have uh, much role to play in them, so that is why first one is incorrect. It's more about the temperature difference uh, uh, in, in the bottom and the top layers of the water of the ocean. Uh, so second and third are the correct options. Uh, first one is incorrect, so B, uh, second and third are the correct options and uh, not much to explain in this uh, then match the following Indian tiger panthera tigris uh, mango magnifera indica and Indian peafowl that is pavo cristatus or uh, D all of the above so all of the above are correctly matched so not much detail to explain in this one so all of them are correct the next one is regarding project tiger was launched in 95 to protect tigers from extinction and ensure a viable population in the natural habitats and project tiger is administered by the NTCA so which is incorrect so the first one is incorrect because it was not launched in 1995 it was launched in 1973 so that is why first statement is incorrect and the second one is obviously correct administered by the ntca uh, so uh, uh, a uh, that is one only is the uh, uh, incorrect option and uh, the next one is uh, regarding the uh, correct option regarding National Lake Conservation Plan. So it is a scheme to restore urban and semi-urban lakes of the country through an integrated uh, course, uh, ecosystem approach and it works under the Ministry of Environment and Forest. It is merged into the National Plan for Conservation of Aquatic Ecosystems along with National Wetland Conservation Program and the all of the above. So one of the main uh, concerns of uh, putting these kind of questions is that, first of all, the, all of the statements are correct. If uh, if you go and read about the National Lake Conservation Plan, and obviously it is, uh, you know, the purpose is to restore the urban semi-urban lakes. And under, obviously it works under the Ministry of Environment and Forest, and it is merged into the National Plan for Conservation of Aquatic Ecosystem. So the purpose of these questions is sometimes we want you to cover all the topics, even if you're not aware about it. So if you attempt these questions, uh, so you can, uh, you know, get to know all of the uh, details of that particular scheme, program, or uh, certain you know a program launched by the government so that is why uh, we make these kind of questions where we cover all of these statements uh, which are relevant and correct for the particular topic so d all of the above are the correct option all they all they all are self-explanatory and uh, next one is uh, which of the following is are incorrect uh, so the Animal Welfare Board of India is established in 1962 under the provision of the Prevention of Cruelty Towards Animals uh, Act 1960 and it operates under the Ministry of Environment and Forest headquartered in New Delhi. Uh, so incorrect option B is the incorrect one. So correct answer is B because it is not headquartered in New Delhi, it is headquartered in uh, Chennai and works to ensure that animal welfare laws in the country are followed besides providing uh, grants to uh, animal welfare organizations. So next one is extinction of species in general is a natural process that happens without uh, human intervention. So uh, human intervention. So which of the following causes artificial extinction? Hunting, capture or persecution, habitat degradation, introduction of invasive species. So very important concept uh, regarding your environment. So D all of the above. All these factors are responsible for artificial extinction. All right. So the next thing uh, uh, regarding photochemical smog, uh, important concept from NCRT books. Uh, so it is a term used to describe air pollution that is a result of the interaction of sunlight with certain chemicals in the atmosphere. And it is one of the primary components of smog in ozone. Uh, so uh, which of them is incorrect? So D, neither of them are incorrect because both of the statements are correct. These are like self-explanatory concepts uh, mentioned in your NCRT textbooks. And smog is a combination of fog and smoke and it is a condition of fog that has soot or smog in it. 
Next one is which of the following is incorrectly paired? Rio at Summit 92, Kyoto Protocol is uh, in Japan, and Montreal Protocol related to ozone depletion. So all of them are relevant and correctly matched. D, none of the above uh, is the answer because none of them are incorrect. So all are self-explanatory. Uh, the next one is regarding fixed capital is the total capital of the enterprise, which is invested in long-term assets. Identify which of the following example are example of fixed capital. So apart from raw material, all three are part of the uh, you know, of fixed capital. So one, two, three, B is the correct answer of this one and it is a capital investment that is needed to start up and conduct business they are neither consumed nor destroyed that is why raw material cannot be a part of it because it is consumed and they're typically considered to be uh, depreciated over a long period of 20 years or more all right Next one is uh, regarding an activity related to production and consumption of goods uh, and services for economic gain is known as economic activity. So which of these are not an economic activity? Uh, services rendered by government of school teacher, obviously it adds to the GDP. Services rendered by housewife, no, it does not add up. And watering your own garden, how does it, uh, is, it is an economic activity unless you employ a gardener and you pay for him. Uh, and selling for farm products in market, obviously uh, the money comes in the system and uh, you know the circle goes on. So second and third are not a part of the economic activity activity only first and fourth are correct so a1 and 4 are the correct answers and I've already explained you so you can go through the explanation in the slide over here and the next one is regarding frictional unemployment can be defi defined as type of unemployment that occurs when there is not enough aggregate demand no not not at all correct it is a time period when between jobs uh, when a worker is searching or for or transitioning from one job to another so this can be correct but we have to look the other options it is a kind of unemployment that may take place in an economy as a result of technological improvement or it is a uh, type of unemployment where part of the labor force is either left without work or is working in a rented manner so uh, out of all the four, uh, B is the correct one uh, because it is a time period between jobs when a worker is searching for a job and the employers generally don't employ these people uh, due to you know skills mismatching and they feel they're not enough qualified candidates for their jobs. So B is the correct option. Uh, the next one is regarding the match of the following minimum support prices announced by the government of India thrice annually. So this is incorrect. They are announced twice before the Kharif and Rabi season. And MSPs are determined by this CACP. Correct answer. And MSPs are not announced for cash crops. Well, they do are well they are announced for uh, uh, cash crops. So uh, is only correct option is C second only. And they are announced for 25 uh, commodities including the food and cash crops and obviously twice a season. Next one is regarding the Central Board of Direct Taxes, who works under the Ministry of Finance, and Central Board of Direct Taxes is led by the Ministry of Fun uh, Finance Minister of India. So it is uh, works under the Department of Revenue under Ministry of Finance, but is not headed by Finance Minister. It is headed by a chairman, and he is the, generally the senior most IRS officer. So correct option A only, first only is the correct answer. Uh, and next one is regarding the last question uh, for this uh, video is uh, Narega uh, aims to provide 200 days of age absolutely incorrect 100 days is mentioned in not 200 days and male population got more benefit from M M M MG Narega so uh, there was a recent report which where it mentioned that uh, uh, the women have more benefited from this program uh, so this statement uh, presently due to the recent report is not correct uh, so which of the following is correct only one is correct B is the uh, sorry 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 uh, which are correct uh, because we have to find uh, uh, sorry 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 so we have to find the correct option so none of them are correct actually because 200 days is 100 days over here and uh, a female population of, of, of obviously benefit from the recent report so d none of the above is the correct answer and 55.26 percent of the women benefited from the scheme so women population uh, got the more benefits and obviously 100 days is mentioned uh, as per the act so this is it for uh, this video lesson guys i'll cover the next uh, answers in the next video so thank you so much and have a good day Hey guys, so let's cover the next set of solutions with their explanation. So next question is 68. Uh, food security is a big issue in this country. What is meant by the central issue price under the food security? So which of the following is actually incorrect? That That is what the question is. Uh, so central issue price are the price at which the Food Corporation of India sells grain for the PDS. So the first statement is actually incorrect. It's not only the food price at which it, it sells the grain. It comprises a lot of things, uh, you know, uh, difference between the economic cost and CIP, the consumer subsidy, and a lot of uh, factor, the cost... Uh, are factored into you know uh, 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 come to the issue price the central issue price so the first statement is actually incorrect and tens of million tons uh, of food of grains are issued by the fci uh, which is much less than the economic cost incurred by the central government by way of procurement st storage uh, transport and distribution 
So next question is regarding National Food Security Act 2013 aims to provide the subsidized food grains for people. So which of the following is are correct regarding NFSA? So law aims to provide uh, 10 kg of subsidized food grains for uh, uh, per person a month at rupees 1 to 3 kgs. Jammu Kashmir is outside the purview and Bihar is the first state to pass the Food Security Act in the country. So which of the following is correct? So D, all of the three are incorrect actually because uh, the, the legal provision of 5 kg of rice per family and Jammu Kashmir is, uh, is within the purview and and Chhattisgarh is actually uh, uh, the first state to pass the law. And rupees 3 to per 1 per kg for rice, wheat and core grains and 5 kg of food grain per person per month at subsidized prices. So next one is regarding the word demonetization. But what does the monetization mean? So issuing a bank loans, introduction of currency to the company and establishing something as a legal tender or D none of the above. So establishing something as a legal tender is known as monetization. So C is the correct answer for this one. And uh, it also refers to coining of currency and printing of bank loans by the central banks. Next question is regarding the term uh, GDP. So it is total value of go all goods and services produced during a particular year in a country. It is a total value of all final goods and services pr produced during a particular year in the country. So this might be correct, but we have to look at the other option as well. Uh, it is a total value of goods and services produced uh, and sold in the domestic market uh, uh, economy during a particular year. And it's total value of all intermediate. Intermediate cannot be GDP. So anyways, the B is the final answer for this one. Total value of all the final goods and services produced during a particular year in the country and can also be used to estimate a country's standard of living it is one of the most common indicators used to determine country's economic health so the next uh, question is uh, rupee one note is signed by not by the governor of rbi it is signed by the union finance secretary so c is the correct answer and according to rbi act 1934 only rbi can issue currency notes of various denominations and all other notes except uh, have rbi governor's uh, signature apart from rupees one note Next one is regarding the infant mortality rate. Uh, what does it indicate? So I'll tell you directly, it's the infant mortality rate indicates the number of children that die in uh, every year. Uh, thousand children born before the age of one year in that particular year. So thousand is the number. Uh, you do not have to look for the other thing. So thousand is the number to identify the infant mortality rate. Uh, so A is the correct answer for this one. And uh, as per the sample registration system uh, to 2013, uh, it, it is for India is like 40 per thousand live births, while the under five mortality rate uh, is 52 per a thousand live births. Next question regarding the uh, respect to Indian economy during British rule. So economic policies pursued by the colonial government in India were concerned more with the protection and promotion of their economic interest. Absolutely correct. Uh, such policies brought about a fundamental change in the structure of Indian economy, transforming the country into supplier of raw material and consumer of finished products. Uh, this one is also correct. So if you want to more, if you want to know more details about it, you can obviously read your, uh, you know history books. But do watch Shashi Tharoor's Dr. Shashi Tharoor's video on the Oxford Union debate. You'll get to know a lot of lot of things regarding Britain owing reparations to India and the third statement is incorrect because they officially never started measuring national income though there were measures to you know uh, reduce it but they never did it officially so only C first and second are the correct option third being the incorrect answer and the sum estimate was made by people like Dada by Naroji and Rao and William Digby but they were all unofficial estimates Next question regarding the following statement respect to service ter tertiary sector in India uh, over the last 40 years. So basically, uh, as, as a result, country uh, tertiary sector has emerged as the largest producing sector. But the thing uh, is incorrect about this one is that it, it's not the uh, does not have the largest employment share. Uh, services sector does have the largest share in the GDP, but not in the employment share. So that is why the first statement is incorrect. And... Uh, yeah, the second statement uh, is correct that the not the entire services sector is growing equally well in India. Service sector in India led by business services, telecom. These are the subsectors which are doing really well. So second statement, uh, the C option is the correct one. And obviously, uh, the below uh, the the employment rate is below the primary sector, whose share is approximately fifty percent. And for services, it's just twenty seven percent as per twenty fourteen data. Next question, pneumonia and diarrhea progress report is published by which of the following? So WHO, National Organization of Rare Dis uh, Disorders, uh, International Vac uh, Vaccine and Access Center is the correct answer for this one. So A is the correct answer. And the report said that uh, India is among the 12 nations that have improved their global action plan for uh, prevention and control of pneumonia and diarrhea. Uh, the next question is, which of the following states of India celebrated Cherry Bo Blossom Festival first time in India? So Cherry Blossom Festival is actually celebrated in Japan. So after that in India, it's being celebrated in Meghalaya. So C is the correct answer for this one and uh, is popularly known as Sakura Festival in Japan held in April every year. So it provided opportunity to showcase unique beauty of pink and white cherry blossoms in traditional art and culture and cuisine of the state. 
Next question is which of the following uh, states border uh, with Bhutan? So Nagaland is actually too far. So Nagaland is way below where Bhutan is if you look at the Indian map. So Assam, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh and West Bengal border uh, Bhutan. So C1234 uh, is the correct answer. And the uh, Bhutan India border is basically 699 kilometers long and does Nagaland does not share as I told you with uh, any borders with Bhutan. Next question is uh, the correct statements regarding the painted stocks or wading birds found in wetlands of Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia and India. They are usually uh, come in the winter to Chilika Lake in Odisha and they are listed in critically endangered species. So they are not critically endangered. They are large in large number and they are in the near threatened category. The rest of the two statements are correct. So A1 and 2 are the correct options. So basically, they are native to these countries and South Asia, and, and the threat habitat, the the threat is that habitat loss, uh, which is common disturbance, pollution, wetland drainage, and the hunting of adults and collection of eggs. Next, which of the following is are uh, considered the first written sources of Indian history? Indus script, well, it cannot be because it still has to be deciphered. Vedic literature does not contain any evidence for Indian history. Uh, Puranas, no, they contain the hymns and other uh, other stuff. Uh, so. Nothing particular, no dates are mentioned in, in you know, any particular thing that are mentioned in Puranas for Indian history. The only conclusive evidence is from the Ashoka's Pillar Edicts and the Rock Edicts. So that is why C is the correct answer. And as I told you, the Vedic literature talks about philosophies, hymn ritual. They do not have any dates or events, anything related to Indian history. And Puranas are ancient literature which contains a range of topics, myths, legend, and different uh, traditional lores. Does not contain any substantial evidence of the dates of events of history. And Ashoka's Edicts are the first written sources of Indian history. Which of the following sites are Paleolithic in age? Uh, Bimbetka, uh, Atiram Pakkam, uh, Harappa and Burzwam. So Bimbetka and Atiram Pakkam are the correct answer. Harappa is, as you know, is a bronze and a metallic age. And Burzwam is uh, not a Paleolithic age, it's a Neolithic age. So C first and second is the correct answer of this one. Uh, you can refer for this uh, your NCRT textbooks and even the fine art will give you an, an information about it. Next question, which of the following is not the part of three Ratnas associated with Buddhism? Uh, Buddham, Dhammam, Brahmacharya and Sangam. So Brahmacharya is not a part of uh, uh, Buddhism and Buddham, Dhammam, Sangam are the part of it. Uh, Brahmacharya was a, uh, was a different concept even mentioned in uh, Jainism but not as such in Buddhism. So Buddham obviously worship of Gautam Buddha, Dhammam is the doctrine of Gautam Buddha and and Sangam, the rules and relegation for Sangh, uh, where the monks live in. All right. Next question uh, is regarding uh, following uh, dynasties in Delhi, Delhi Sultanate in ascending order. So starting from the beginning one, the first gave the slain dynasty uh, and then the Khiljis. So two, one. And so only one option, if you, if, even if you know these, these two options, you can eliminate and, you know, find the answers to one. And obviously then it's the Tughlaq, Sayyid and Lodi were the last. Then, you know, obviously the Mughals came in, the Babur, you know, Babur attacked the Lodis. And that is why uh, the correct answer is 21354. And these are the dates which are mentioned over here. So next one is Annamachari is the earliest known Indian musician to compose songs. Uh, so which of the following dynasties did he flourish in? So he was a Hindu saint, a follower of Vishnu. And he lived during the Vijayanagar Empire uh, and dynasty period. So B is the correct answer. And he was an Indian musician to compose songs on, uh, in the praise of God Venkateshwar, a form of Vishnu. Uh, so and uh, obviously uh, these are the dates, uh, period where he lived in. And he was a Hindu saint in during the Vijayanagar dynasty. So this is it for today's uh, the solutions of these questions. So I'll post the next video uh, regarding the rest of the solutions. Uh, till then, have a good day and prepare well. Thank you so much. Hello guys, so let's cover the rest of the questions and their solutions and explanations. So the following statements are regarding the Mughal Empire. So which of the vol uh, were the following heads of the various departments? Mira Saman uh, in charge of Royal Kitchen, Mir Bakshi head of military administration and Diwani uh, was the revenue minister. So which of the following is are correct? So all of the three are correct. So for this you can refer your NCRT textbooks. So nothing much to explain, direct uh, explanations. Uh, next question is regarding the Sikhs and the Sikhism. Guru Angad uh, created Guru Mukhi script. Uh, Guru Tegh Bahadur was killed by Shah Jahan and Guru Gobind Singh created the Sikh army called Dal Dal Khalsa. Uh, so uh, the second statement is incorrect because he was killed by uh, Aurangzeb and not Shah, during Shah Jahan's period. Uh, it was during Aurangzeb. So second is incorrect and rest of the three, rest of the two statements, first and third, are uh, correct. So B, first and third are the correct option. And uh, the next one uh, is regarding the uh, Pitra Dura. Uh, so it is an art uh, in which highly colored stones are cut and fitted to create images on walls and furniture. They are paintings made with dyes made from spices. Earth. No, not correct. The B is definitely not related to spices. And, and hand painted cotton textile.
which uses pens made of bamboo dipped in vegetable dyes or it is an old art form for which uh, uses mainly circles triangles and squares to form numerous shapes and depict daily life activities like fishing hunting so definitely cannot be a part of this Peter Dura so Peter Dura is uh, a uh, art form in which highly colored stones are cut and fitted to create images on walls furnitures and artifacts uh, so uh, and they're also known as uh, called as Parchinkari or Parchinkari in South Asia uh, in lay technique of using cut and fitted highly polished colored stones Next one is uh, arrange the following countries in ascending order of their arrival uh, in British uh, of of in, in India. Uh, so British, uh, Port, uh, Brit Portugal, Portuguese, Dutch, Danish, and French. Uh, so the first one were Portuguese, uh, and then obviously were the Dutch, and uh, after that came the Britishers, and then were the Danish, and last of them to come was the French. So that is why the last uh, the first option is two three one four five is the correct answer. So that is what uh, these are the years mentioned accordingly next question is consider the following statements regarding the battle of Baksar. so the treaty of Allahabad was signed as a result of this the battle was fought uh, between uh, Mir Qasim of Bengal Shuza Dola of Awad and Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II and Shah Alam II conferred the Vani rights to East India Company of, Beng of you know, Bengal uh, so all of the three statements are correct so refer your uh, you know, history textbooks for the explanation of these uh, and uh, you know we can get the detail from there the so next question is, uh, which of the following uh, was not associated with Raja Ramon Roy? So this year there was a question like this uh, during the association of personalities with different organizations. Uh, Brahma Samaj, he was a part of it and Percepts of Jesus is related to him and Atmiya Sabha obviously was the first name before it was named as Brahma Samaj. Uh, Poverty and British rule in India is uh, is written by uh, Dada by Noroji, so not a part of Raja Ramon Roy's uh, legacy. So C is the incorrect option uh, of this one. Uh, he was just... He was not associated with this so it was uh, done in 1901 by Dada by Naroji the next one is uh, correct for the following statements regarding Indian National Congress sessions uh, so Jawaharlal Nehru presided most number of INC sessions and George Yule was the first European to preside an INC session and Annie Besant was the first woman to preside an INC session uh, so which of the following is correct uh, second is correct George Jule was the first president uh, European uh, to preside in uh, an Indian National Congress session and even Annie Besant was the first woman but then Jawaharlal Nehru and otherwise uh, you know Dada Bhai Naroji they both uh, presided three times so that is why first is incorrect it should also include Dada Bhai Naroji uh, but otherwise Jawaharlal Nehru is correct if you look at per se uh, but second and third in, in this question is the correct first being the incorrect uh, and which of the following is correct regarding the Urja Ganga scheme launched recently? Pipeline uh, will be provided only for uh, piped cooking uh, gases to the residents of eastern region of the country. And project will be implemented by Gale. And state of Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha will be benefited from this scheme. So second is correct. It will be implemented by Gale. But then it will also include uh, the, the cooking gas, uh, piped, uh, piped cooking gas, as well as compressed natural gas for vehicles. So first is incorrect. And third is incorrect because there will be a lot of cities comprising of different states so second only is c is the correct answer for this one so seven east indian uh, cities varansi jamshedpur patna ranchi kolkata uh, kolkata bhubneshwar and khatak will be the major beneficiary and apart from uh, provide you know pipe cooking uh, gas uh, it will also provide for cng gas for the vehicles as well Recently, uh, India was ranked 97th among 118 countries surveyed in 2016 Global Hunger Index. So, which of the following is correct? So, GHI is released by International Food Policy Research Institute. Correct. So, how can it be released by WHO if it's released by this one? So, second is incorrect and Nepal and Bangladesh ranked uh, were ranked better uh, than India. Uh, so, which of the uh, so which of the following uh, statements are correct? So since second is incorrect, the only correct option is D first and third only. And Nepal and, uh, the, and their ranking of Bangladesh is mentioned over here. So next one is regarding Krishna River. So Krishna was the second largest river of basin after Godavari uh, in peninsular India. It runs through the states of Maharashtra, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And Krishna River empties into Bay of Bengal. So which of the following is not correct? So incorrect one. So D none of the above uh, because all of the three statements are correct. So we need to pay attention to the correct uh, and incorrect what is being asked in the question. So what is the demand of the question? So all of them are correct. And which of the following options are marked correctly for the military exercise uh, with India? Uh, Surikaran, Sri Lanka. No, Surikaran is with Nepal and Mitra Shakti is actually with Sri Lanka. So the option has been interchanged. Sampriti is definitely with Bangladesh. So the only third option C is the correct answer. Already explained to you the reason. And the next one is regarding uh, Indian currency. 
responsibility for coinage vests with the government of india on the basis of the coinage act 1906 and the goi the government of india decides upon the volume and the value of banknotes to be printed and government of india decides upon the quantity of coins to be minted so which of the following statements are correct so the correct answer for this one is C, uh, first and third only. Second uh, is not correct because it's the responsibility of the RBI, not the government of India, to decide upon the volume and uh, and the value of banknotes to be printed. First and third be the correct option and responsibility of coinage vests with the government of India in, and even the government of India decides upon the quantity of coins to be minted. So the next one is uh, following options A is incorrect one. So 1987 Montreal Protocol designed uh, uh, to close uh, the growing uh, you know ozone hole. A recently done Kigali Agreement or amended Protocol Protocol for the hydrofluorocarbons reduction. And Kigali Agreement is not binding on countries. And Kigali Agreement provides funding to developing countries. So actually Kigali uh, Agreement is binding on the countries. Uh, so that is why this option is incorrect. So C is the correct answer. And the next question is, which of the following is correct regarding the SUFFER, uh, the system of air quality and weather forecasting research? It works under the Ministry of Environment and Forest. No, it works under the uh, Department of Earth Sciences. So that is why uh, first is incorrect. And the second is correct option. So B second only is the correct answer. And it and works under the Ministry of Earth Sciences and Government of India. And second is incorrect. And it is developed by Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, Pune, along with ESSO as part of institutions, namely uh, the IMD and the uh, NCM. RWF. So next one is Venezuela shares is bought which of the following countries Ecuador, Brazil, uh, Colombia, Peru, Guyana and Argentina. Mm. So we have to refer maps for this one. You need to refer to your atlases. Venezuela is an important country. You do a lot of political things happening there and obviously uh, there was a non-alignment movement as well. Uh, the meeting uh, conducted uh, in Venezuela. So that is why it is important uh, for this year's questions. So anyway, the correct option will be Brazil has its border with Venezuela and Colombia even has its border and even Guyana. Uh, no borders with Ecuador, Peru or Argentina. So C, sec second, third and fifth are the correct option. And recently, India, Venezuela signed deals to increase the oil production. So the last question, finally, the hundredth one, Laksh Lakshmi, a banking robot is launched by which of the following banks? City Union Bank, Bank of Baroda, State Bank of India or ICICI. So the correct option of this one is A, City Union Bank, because this app, uh, this robot is re uh, uh, related to, you know, helping the customers to prevent misuse of ATM cards. Uh, a new feature in mobile banking application was introduced by City Union Bank. And with this help, uh, with the help of this one, the customers can actually block, can and block their ATMs, point of sale e-commerce transaction at any point of time so guys uh, finally all of the hundred questions have been covered uh, so uh, and solutions explanations have already been provided in all the videos now so do mention your scores in the comment sections below so you can definitely practice and assess your preparations level with these questions so thank you so much and have a good day happy preparations